Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. So let's get started with today's topic is recently viewed products in Coding Nighter. So to achieve this, I'll be using cookies. So let's get started. So firstly, make sure in your auto load file, you load library session and helper cookie as I'll be using these two. So I have created this view. I have listed three products, a product list, and there is another heading you can see recently viewed at bottom. So if I'll click on any product, there is a product view page and like a normal product view page, I have just created some fields after going to product view. So that product should come in recently viewed section. So that we will be doing in this video. So let me show you database after that. So database I have created product with table product in that and there are three products that is listed in my product list. So that is coming dynamic. So I have taken price like basic normal product fields I have taken. So let me show you code till now what I have done. So I have created one home controller in index function. I have fetched my product and in another function is for product view. So if you will check in index, there is home model. So in home model, there is product list. So let's go to definition and let's see. So data is coming from product table and result is returned. So there will be like a list will be returned and in product view you can see there is segment I am taking and using this ID I'll be fetching the data of that particular product. So here in model only row will be returned as only I need one product data according to its ID. So now you can see ID I'm getting in URL. So that's why it's a URI like segment 3 I am taking so you can pass your own like you have slug or you have created your own so you will be getting somehow ID of product so according to that you can fetch your data so in view you can see for each is there and firstly is image is displayed then there is product name then description and last is view button so in second is product view Firstly, same image, name, price and description is there. Then there is recent view that is blank right now as I'll be showing you how to do this. So in product view function, I'll be setting cookie. So let's go to home controller. And write a comment. Then uh, write variable, let's say cookie data and define as array and pass product ID in that. After that, serialize this cookie data as we will be setting value in a string. As So after serialize, define another array with cookie array and that will be a associative array. So first one is name. So that will be recent views, recently viewed, whatever you want to give, you can give. Then value, pass this serialized value, that is cookie value. Then set expiry. I am just setting it for a day. That is 86400. Then write this input, set cookie and pass this array, that is cookie array. Now print all the cookies that we have with dollar underscore cookie and exit the function. Then refresh in browser. So there you can see one recently viewed and there is ID. Now you can see if I'm going to first product, it's taking one. And if I'm going to second product, it's taking two as I have just set the cookie. So every time it's setting this cookie. So now what we need to do, we need to update this cookie. So for that, I'll be checking if condition and in if pass array key exist. So first one is going to be name of the cookie that is recent viewed. And second one is going to be dollar underscore cookie. So 
if this cookie is already present and else if cookie is not present then set this cookie and if already present then update this cookie when already present let's get this cookie so write a variable let's say cookie get and in that write a function get cookie and pass the cookie name in that that is recent viewed then print this variable cookie get and now let's go and check in browser open product view and now you can see before array we are getting one data so we are getting the cookie so now we need to update that so for that we need to unserialize that after unserialize we will be getting one array so we will be updating that array so write cookie result unserialize and pass that cookie get variable in that after that print cookie res and now let's go and check this in browser so i'll be getting a array with one element let's say zero one so now let's go and check if same product is already present in p or not so for that write else in array and in array pass product id and array is going to be cookie res so write not let's say like if it's not present then in cookie res array append this product id after that we are going to delete the already existing cookie and we will be setting again that cookie so delete cookie recently viewed after that just copy text from bottom only cookie set paste here change variables cookie res so all is same so now let's go in browser and refresh so if i refresh together so now you can see it's taking two elements so it's added now third one is added so till now cookie is set so now let's move to displaying that remove exit so let's go to index and in recently viewed check if condition here so what i'm doing is like if cookie recent view is set then only display recently viewed data else don't so check if array key exists then only load view recently viewed so after that get cookie recent viewed in that condition only unserialize that and we will be getting one array so that array we will be like in where condition we will be sending all product id so implode function i'm going to use product ids variable and implode function pass blue as comma and pieces is going to be cookie result so i'm getting here all product ids so now let's fetch the products so write where where equals to product id in pass variable product ids define this home product list define that in a variable recently viewed list change function name product list with id in model paste one of the function then change the same function in model after that give a where condition pass this where as a complete in where then pass recently viewed list in our view so in our view let's firstly just print the data is coming or not so print this recently viewed list refresh now in home page you can see data is coming so let's if from product list copy for each and paste here just change the variable recently viewed list so now refresh you can see data is coming so let me show you again 
so open incognito mode and paste in that so right now you can see recently viewed section is not coming as I have put condition on that so if I click on any product you can see on footwear I have clicked and if I refresh on my product list you can see recently viewed is having one product that is footwear so if I click again footwear is not coming only one time it's coming if I click sports view and again now refresh my home page you can see now sports wear is also coming in recently viewed so that's what we have to do in this video so i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt so please comment down below or email me so thank you so much for watching